Good morning. It is 23 minutes after 7 o'clock and joining us in the studio this morning from the Roswell Chamber of Commerce, Andrea Moore back with us. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Anytime. How are you doing today? Pretty good. It's a little chilly out there. I like your sweater. Screw Sean. I well, think it looks you know, I was like, finally, I can wear, I can only wear it for like three weeks out exactly. of the year. So. And, and, and to be honest, it's just a, a nice red sweater with, right. with white reindeer with on reindeer. it. With reindeer. It's not like it's like 30 colors and, and it's got like all weird Christmas trees or 80 style. Although if I did have a Technicolor dream coat, I would wear the <laughs> heck out of that bad boy. <laughs> I would be Kramer with the cane and the top hat, the whole nine yards. Well, if you're going to do it, you got to go. That's right. Hunter. I yeah, like I when you said that, I ain't gonna lie. One of my life goals is to own a tuxedo like uh, like uh, Lloyd and uh, what's his name from Dumb and Dumber. Oh, the, yeah. Or, either that teal or that orange <laughs> with the top hat with the cane. I want the whole nine. I want the cane, the top hat, and I want I want all of that. And, I, I and, want or, and those, a reason to go out. I want one of those tuxes. Yes, I oh, want. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm not even sure which one I'd want better, the, the that teal, turquoise, or or the, the the orange. Either ones, they both have their appealings. I don't know which one. Oh yeah. <laughs> maybe I should go my. Maybe I should go one in that safety green Roswell color. Oh, there you. Oh, there I you hate go. that color, but man. Well, there you go, and you could use it for every Tuck. historical society event yeah, ever. I can put a staff sticker on the back, and we'll be good to go. There you go. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look for that coming soon. So, uh, oh, Christmas gifts. Anybody want to buy me a Christmas gift? Safety green uh, tux with top hat. And <laughs> well, I have the cane that, has, that uh, transforms into a sword. Oh, yeah. That I would, would be loan great. it to you. Yeah. That would but be But I need it back. Okay. Cause... Well, what if I need, what if, what if it's used in a crime? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> just kidding. There's ways to get that. <laughs> Lots of holes in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> we do live in New Mexico. Just saying. <laughs> Cheese day. Just joking, folks. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, of course, uh, Christmas time's always. I mean, I know COVID's always still fighting us on oh, events it's, and things. Yeah. But, but the holidays, there's a lot of lot of fun stuff around town. A lot of things happening. Lots of things. A lot. Um. You know, we got a lot of great groups. Uh, doing just fun stuff during the the Christmas season yep. here. So, uh, and of course, Chamber's always involved in promoting. We're trying. Letting... We're doing our best. Um, Main Street Roswell's yeah. got a bunch of stuff going on. They got a busy weekend. They've got. Um, if I can remember correctly, they're still voting on the windows, yes. and that's closing here pretty quick. Yeah. Vote so if you want to vote for your favorite windows, go do that now. MainStreetRoswell.org is the website. Yep. You can go and vote there. And then they've got um, all kinds of other stuff. The light parade yeah. is coming up super quick. Friday. Well, they got two. Friday night, they're going to do a tree lighting on the courthouse lawn yep. here. That, the, that'll be as part of First Friday, I guess, because that's all. They're kind of rolling First Friday in one big two-day event. Yes. And so First Friday, you know, the merchants, some of the merchants and things are going to be participating open late and doing things like normal First Friday. But then they're going to be doing the, the tree lighting. Correct. Uh, uh, I think it's seven. It's, I think so, too. Uh, they're on the courthouse lawn. And uh, that's to, no Friday. Friday. Night. I was trying to think what today was. And then uh, Saturday evening, they're doing it's the 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 Christmas light parade. But it's a reverse light parade. Yeah. That the floats will be stationary, uh -huh. and then you go through yeah. the parade. So it'll be cool to see how. And you stay in your vehicle drive through. Yeah. Yep. And I saw that yesterday they've posted the map and the flow on how you go through where to enter. The parade route okay. and then the exit. Very so good. that looks really cool. And uh, and I was told uh, when I talked to the ladies uh, the other day, uh, Monday, they said uh, you can still be in the light parade if, if they, uh, as early as Saturday morning. You can turn in your application. That's awesome. But uh, but you got to have something ready to go. Obviously. Well, yeah, for, you got to for, gotta for uh, have um, some lights. I, I, call or call and get a hold of Main Street Rosal for all the. And I'm sure if at MainStreetRoswell.org, you'll see what what you're what you're allowed to do and not allowed yep. to do. But it's pretty open. Uh, you got to provide your own power. Um, yep. You got to have a fire extinguisher uh, because you know you're dealing with electricity and lights and they and you know out in the parking lot. We don't we want to have those nearby in case we want it to all be safe. Yes, in case something catches a blaze, which probably won't, but you never know. That's and, right. Uh, and then of course, um, uh, just. It, Christmas. Uh, Whoville is kind of the theme. Yes. So uh, if you want to be a part of the theme, but really Christmas is always the theme. So, and oh, and the other, and this is kind of a big rule. 
There's only one real Santa Claus at the at the Christmas light event, and it's it's the one the official one in town brought in by Main Street Roswell has Santa got he's coming in. That's that's the only Santa. So you can have blow up Santas and you know Santa light up Santas and all this, but people in Santa suits, no, 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 no. There Santa's gonna be here, and and we don't want to confuse the kids with the real Santa in in. And his stand ins. Yeah. Correct. No, so. absolutely. So be there. This and you can get weekend pictures and all that stuff. I think you can, uh, I think Friday they can do meet and greets and things with Santa, but all the pictures and all that's going to be Saturday. Saturday at the parade. Yeah, Saturday yep. at the parade. So, so. get out there, um, shop safe, shop local. Mm-hmm. You know, we just had um, shop local Saturday. Yeah, small business small Saturday. Small business Saturday, yeah. shop local Saturday. Whatever they call it now. Um, but <laughs> get out and you know, you keep hearing on the news all of this supply chain issues and stuff. Well, what a wonderful way to go and make sure that you're getting really awesome, unique gifts for Christmas, mm-hmm. Hanukkah, whatever it is that mm-hmm. you're celebrating this time of year by going to our local merchants because they've got some of the best local uh, things that you're not going to be able to find anywhere else. You're not going to be able to go to Walmart and yeah. find these really cool, unique gifts that are offered at our local businesses around town. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I mean, I get it. Internet shopping is convenient and, you know, we all do it in some way, shape or form. But uh, especially if you're worried about deadlines and getting things on time, selection, um, it, it's kind of a crapshoot even, even a month out from Christmas. It's kind oh. of a crapshoot on, mm-hmm. on things getting delivered and all that. From many of my friends and family across the country that yeah. they were starting to do Christmas shopping at the beginning of October mm-hmm. and things were online were saying, well, it won't ship till January or February. Yeah. So once again, go to your local businesses. They've got it right there on hand. A lot of times they'll ship for you mm-hmm. at low or no cost. Um, and what a wonderful way to show how much you care about your friends and family than yeah. getting a really cool, unique gift. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is the part. Yeah. You get to. And, and 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 obviously, and I say this all the time, the, the local merchants, that's their passion, their joy. That's exactly. The, they open these businesses because their passion is that product, you know, whatever yeah. it is. And so you're not going to get better educated or better service and in, in, in product uh, than, than from them from someone who's passionate about what Absolutely. they're doing. Absolutely. And, and it might cost you slightly more. Than going and, and, online, and to be but honest, in it's this world, really it, not that much anymore when you add between shipping. shipping, handling, and and time and everything else. That's right. Uh, I I I think that's that's manageable. I don't think that I think it's they can't cancel each other out. And a out lot on of places prices. will even gift wrapped for you sure. here, whereas and you can't always get that. Thing. Maybe you're seeing something that like that's close to what you want, but not quite. And you talk to them, and you're like, oh, well, we can get you the next model that actually has exactly what yeah. you want or whatever it is. That's that's where that expertise comes in, where you go to the big box store, like, oh, uh, uh, well, you don't see it, that we don't have it, or, you know what I mean. Exactly. The, the, and the, the, the answers that really don't answer your And question. as much as I love Main Street, we have to remember Roswell and Chavez County is mm-hmm. huge community, so yeah. there are other cute little gems mm-hmm. all over town, all over yeah. the county, so don't... Uh, don't forget about all of those wonderful. And yeah. of course, if I start rattling off one, I'll forget somebody right. and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But there are great local merchants everywhere, um, home based businesses. Don't yeah. forget about them because yeah. this is, you know, a good time of year for them as well. So, yeah, please shop, shop local for yeah, sure. Absolutely. And, and, and support local food wise as well, too. I know yes. uh, we're going to be doing a lot of eating out during the holidays and, Get those local mom and pop and just our local establishments. That's right. And 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 uh, I I know I, we've seen some pretty interesting commercials with uh, like Domino's and stuff. You know, kind of going after some of our delivery service or not our just delivery service kind of things. And and you're like, hmm, it's kind of an interesting little battle. And 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 I don't know all the intricate details, but it sounds like uh, mom and pops tend to. You know, if you're not fully on board or whatever, I know it could be tricky on that. And it's the cost and deterrence and things. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know, support local. Go go to these restaurants. Go in. Say hi. And ask. Your food. If eat. you don't yeah. see something, whether it be the food mm-hmm. or any of our other, uh, the other shops in town, if you see something or don't see something, rather, ask. Yeah. You would be surprised at how accommodating the local businesses are going to be in town versus going to like a Walmart. Yeah. They're not going to be able to 
you know, be as co- as accommodating. Sure. And I, I want to throw one more reminder before we move on from the, the shopping local and all that, too, is, and I'm sure people have noticed it, and you're going to continue to notice it. If you're going to your favorite little places to eat and things, notice your prices are getting higher. Um, I know no one's happy about that. I get it. But understand, it's not on the business why they're doing it. If it, it, it's it's the cost of doing business for these it's restaurants and, and any business is going up. What it cost them to make a hamburger a year ago is probably double to triple the price of it cost to make it today. And, and that's, that's, they've got to deal with that. Staff shortages everywhere. So also be patient when going to restaurants, when going into different businesses, mm-hmm. because you know once again, two three years ago, where maybe a restaurant had a hundred employees. They might only have 40. Mm -hmm. So that would be one of the reasons why if you walk into a restaurant, for example, and you see, well, this whole section over here is open. How come I can't sit down? Well, because I only have so many servers today. And if you want to get served in a somewhat timely manner, Mm -hmm. we can't be at full capacity, even though that here in Roswell, we're trying to be as accommodating as possible and there's no restrictions. Yeah. So, uh, so if you're looking for work, there's plenty of that. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and then, of course, Thursday, um, we've got business after hours at Tabosa. Nice. That is across the street from Roswell Police Department, 204 West 2nd. And uh, business hour, business after hours is 5 to 630. Yeah. So please come out because they always do a good job. Tabosa does a lot of wonderful things for the community. Um, in helping not only adults, but uh, they've got, I think it's Los Pasitos, yeah, Los Pasitos. which is the children's um, portion yeah. of what Tabosa does. And they do, uh, that side is like uh, infant health and things. So uh, when you uh, when you have a, a child now, I mean, they literally can tell within that first six months yep. of that being a baby, whether there's uh, hearing or vision or any of those kind of developmental issues. Exactly. And they can start the treatment process. Like now, is a, like that's why you're seeing little babies wear eyeglasses and stuff. Anybody ever, you ever notice like, wait, 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 that baby's wearing glasses. When we were kids, you they didn't even think about slapping exactly. glasses on you too in school. Until you were like third grade. Yeah. And uh, it's way different now. And, and, and it's really helping the learning curve for these kids. Yes. Kids with... That, that are being diagnosed uh, dyslexic or hearing issues or things like that, that uh, they generally couldn't really develop till the child was a little older. Yes. Now they're, they're seeing the signs of that at infant stage, and that's where Los Facitos, they can help de- determine if those things are going on and help start getting that child uh treated for that yeah and the best part about all the things i just said it's completely free to the family yes so uh everything los pasitos does when it comes when it does when it comes to health stuff it's it doesn't cost the family one correct dime, so. and rosie and her crew over at tabosa does a great job once you get to the more uh late teens adulthood mm-hmm. with um people with uh disabilities yeah. as well so please come out and support tabosa thursday 5 to six thirty. Uh, 204 West 2nd, mm-hmm. or across the street from the RPD. Roswell Police Department. Yeah. Yeah, you should. If you're in that area and you're like, where's that? <laughs> uh, just follow the cars. You'll see them. Yeah, Absolutely. come out to If you've never been to a business after, it's a great opportunity to meet, network. And uh, it's not all but just about learning about Tobos. I mean, yeah, the, the host business always likes to, you know, will show you around their services and things. So you'll, you'll learn, maybe get to uh, see parts of Tobosa that the public doesn't always get to see, things right. like that. Uh, but then, um, of course... It's a network, and we're business. You know, people in our community, other business owners, uh, nonprofit, just people. People in our community come out and network and chit chat, and uh, yep. you can win cash. Usually, if you bring a business card and a dollar, they can get in on the pot there. And at the end, they, everyone wins all the business cards and the whatever and the money's cash. in the pot there. Yep. Um, usually, the host uh, business or organization will. Uh, give away door prizes during the event. Usually there's And snacks. I know Tabosa does wonderful door prizes. Rosie really does a good job yeah. of getting some really cool, unique items. Once again, a lot of things that could be <laughs> a Christmas gifts or stocking stuffers. Rosie does a good job, so please come out. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's this Thursday. Yes, that's this Thursday. Um, and, of course, the Historical Society Book Fair is going on on Saturday. Some really cool, unique books mm-hmm. that um, you're probably not going to find anywhere else. Yeah, they're rare out of print. They have uh, it's their extras and things. By the way, too, if you like, um, like, if you're not necessarily like a book collector, like I, I want, I like old books, but not 
for reading or rarity purposes. But some people like to, you know, decorate walls yes. and shell or shelves and things with old books, but not necessarily wanting to pay. They've got a, a, a pile of books that they're charging a buck or two a piece for that they, they they look cool, they're old and all that, but they're not really valuable for the content that's in them. So if you're looking for kind of books like that, you'll find a bunch of them there. At the, at exactly. The, at the, so come out to the book fair. Um, Westlake is doing their winter wonderland. Cool. That's December 11th at 10 a.m. Okay. Once again, lots of prizes. Um, I know they're doing a raffle for a grill. I believe it's a Traeger grill. Nice. Um, and if I can remember correctly, they're going to have Santa there okay. as well. So come so meet Santa. Come meet Santa. If you can't come to the light parade uh, this weekend with Main Street Roswell. Or if you get a bad be... picture. Like, you're, you're like, you know, you're like, man, my picture of Santa didn't come out good there. That's I'm right. going to go here and get a better That's picture. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So come see them. Um, and those are just a couple of the things that are coming up here just super quick cool. in the next week or so. Um, of course, at the Chamber, our um, special edition, holiday edition, is out now. Yeah. We have partnered with uh, Jacob Roebuck and the Christmas Railway, mm -hmm. so it is mostly their program. Yeah. So it, there's the map of how everything's laid out at the railway, as well as some really cool information and history about Christmas and Christmas in Chavez County. That's cool. Um, I if I can remember correctly, there's an article about Jesse McDaniels and what he has done to help make sure that all of Main Street is lit up for the holiday season because that's a huge undertaking. And he's heavily involved in that. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. he does a jam up job every he's single year. He's heavily involved in lighting in a lot of areas around here. I yes. mean, it's just not, I mean, he, yeah, obviously his own home every year is kind of a destination for folks to come out and he usually does a, a charity event yep. uh, where he's like, he's got his radio station that you listen to music while you're yep. looking at his light show and he does an amazing job with that charity wise but outside of his own personal stuff yeah he's helping the city he's helping various nonprofits with some of their christmas yes. stuff so um, he's he's a he's a man i don't know if he's just got an obsession with christmas lights not sure but uh, i think lights in general because <laughs> there's he start if i can remember correctly he starts even before halloween yeah. and has started to do a halloween deal and then it morphs on over to Christmas. And then he's a real estate agent, right? That's yes. one of his. I'm, I'm kind of wondering, like, if you say, hey, I buy a house, can you throw in a lighted house? <laughs> like, well, like, it's you know, part of the deal. Like, if you, like, work I'm with sure the I'm sure it doesn't hurt to ask, because what's the worst he's going to say? No. <laughs> yeah, right, he'll have it, too. But, uh, or it might cost you. <laughs> well, in either this, way. In, this, in the real estate world as we speak right now, it, it is definitely a seller's market. So. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they go quick. I've yeah. had a couple of friends that have put their homes up for sale, either to upgrade or to be yeah. moving. And I want to say it's within a week or two. Every time I see a sign. These homes are moving. Yeah, every time I see a sign go up, it's usually not up long before. Or a sold sign slaps on front of that thing. Correct. Yeah. So good deal. Well, thank you, Jesse, for doing all yeah. that, getting involved. Um, in, in and if uh, you haven't received a copy of our holiday issue, give us a call yeah. at the chamber because we are tweaking our address, um, how we're mailing everything out because we were getting information. Some people were getting four and five copies, others were getting zero. Gotcha. So we're really working hard at um, dialing in how we're mailing everything out so if for some reason you got scrubbed and you're not getting it please call. call me let me know we'll throw one in the mail or you know we're more than happy to come and deliver it personally sure. and extras if you want them because we always have um a few extras yeah. left over yeah so if you're featured or, or or in the magazine want an extra copy for your family come on by and we'll, we'll absolutely make sure get one there too so, so let us and, know and get your reservations for the roswell christmas railway uh it, it is Fantastic. You've never been or haven't been yet this year. It's a great adventure. And they have time. an ice skating rink this yeah, year. Yeah, that's the new thing is the big ice skating oh, yeah. rink. And, uh, man, I, I, I've i never heard – I might need to go out there because I, I used to play hockey and all that, but I ain't going to lie. Last time I put ice skates on my feet, I was in my 20s. So it, it's been a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, my girls went and danced on Saturday. Um, when they first opened with their dance studio, yeah. so we were able to go out, and it's beautiful. Um, once again, you know, come get the get an issue of mm -hmm. the holiday um, Roswell Now magazine because it's got everything about the railway, your map, where everything's at, the Good cost, deal. all of that stuff, kind and we're happy to support. Get that before you go out there. Absolutely, um, plan your trip. 
And um, we are taking advertisements for next year as well, because now we've concluded our first year of Roswell Now, and I have learned so much about the magazine industry, the do's and the don'ts. And with Madeline now being on board, I think we are um, only great things are going to come yeah. out of the magazine. Yeah. So if you want to advertise, and it's for the whole county, yeah, it's get not in on just it. Roswell, it's not just Main Street, it's not just, you know, local, you know, like... It's really Chavez County. It's all everything. of Chavez yeah. County and beyond. You know, if you know that you are going to be able to benefit from advertising in our magazine, but you live or know somebody that has a business that's outside of the parameters sure. or boundaries of Chavez County, come advertise because we're also looking into a subscription, a paid subscription, so that way we can pay for at least the shipping costs, the mailing costs outside of the boundaries of Chavez County going nice. forward. Very cool. So uh, please reach out. And uh, again, well, we'll give you the number here and everything at the end here, but all that. Yeah. But uh, come see us. Yeah, definitely. we've got a boardroom for Christmas parties. We can hold up to forty-five people. Yeah, if you got a meeting or a more festive meeting. That's right. Either way. Um, and, uh, every, just about every weekend we're booked um, right now for um, things on the weekends, but we've got a couple of spaces open if you want to have a meeting either during the day or like a Christmas party. The staff, myself and my staff at the chamber, we are always happy to come in early yeah, or stay late Absolutely, because um, we love to accommodate the community. Yeah, definitely. That's an option for folks if you're looking for that. And that's a great way because you could easily, I mean, they have 30, 40, 50 people in that room all the time and and, yeah. uh, and, and it, it, it seats comfortably and everything. And it's got all the... Uh, amenities as far as the 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 IT stuff. If you yep. need to do overhead, a working projector. Yeah. We can do Zoom. We can do anything. Really, anything you need. We've got a conference zone yeah. that you can have. I believe it's up to 150 people call in oh, on wow. the conference okay. phone. Um, and we can move the tables and chairs around to any configuration sure. that works best yeah. for your needs. And all that's been replaced in the last six months, too. So Yeah. <laughs> it's easy to move. Yeah. They're lightweight. Uh, when you sit on the chairs, you're not going to mysteriously get shorter. <laughs> um, so we're really excited. Yeah. Cool. So please call the chamber. Come by. Yep. And uh, and uh, any of the folks there will help you. Yep. 575-623-5695. Six two three five six nine five, or come see us. We're on the corner of Richardson and Second, mm -hmm. one thirty one West Second. If you see one of the red cars out front, that's <laughs> Lizard Eye. Yeah, um, we're there every day, definitely ten to four. Mm -hmm. um, but there's usually somebody in the office from nine to five. But we are definitely open to the public, ten to four. Yeah, that's public hours, ten to four. Correct. If for some reason you come and the doors are locked during our hours, that means that there's just one or two of us in the office. Yeah. We have a doorbell now. Mm -hmm. Ring. Ring the doorbell and we'll come open the doors because for safety reasons, when yeah. there's only one or two of us and we're sitting in the back, sure. we just have it closed. So just ring the doorbell, give us a call, and uh, we'll come and help you out with anything that you need. Absolutely. Uh, political season mm -hmm. is right around the corner, so we will start uh, making sure that we're pushing out the information. For example, as um, everybody is declaring to run for mayor, mm -hmm. city council, any county commissioners, um, state representatives, governor, uh, state senators, things like that. We'll start pushing out the information. The Chamber of Commerce does not support or does not endorse mm -hmm. any particular candidate, but we are happy to push out any and all information so the community can make their decision when going to vote. Absolutely. Um, another thing, too, uh, kind of keep on people's radar here. Um, you know, of course, first of the year is coming up legislative session all of that's yes. going to be around the corner here um the way the the tea leaves are le re are running right now there's not going to be a whole lot of extracurriculars at this year's uh, legislative session that's the word we have gotten for sure so it's probably up on the air whether you guys are going to be doing receptions and stuff up Correct. there like you normally would um well as soon as you guys know more you We'll, yeah, your nay, definitely. You'll let folks know. We'll let you know uh, one way or the other. Uh, what events, if any, are going to happen. We know for sure that you have to be vaccinated to even um, go up and go to the roundhouse this year. There's only one exception so far, um, and that's the elected officials do not have to be vaccinated. 
However, they do have to be tested twice a week. Any staffers or anybody else, any constituents, lobbyists, etc., that want to go to the roundhouse have to be vaccinated or you don't get access to the roundhouse this session. Okay. And it's going to be that way for the Supreme Court. It's going to be that way for any of those other government entities in, in Santa, Santa Fe. Santa Fe, yeah. So... So, uh, yeah, so, I mean, you can you can predict the future as well as I can on that yeah. one. So, but uh, as we get official word on some of those events, we'll let folks know Absolutely. what we can do and what we can't do or if it's even happening at all. Yep, so. and every Monday I do sit in on a chamber executive meeting with other chamber execs from around the state, and that's where we get the most current, up-to-date information, and I post what's relevant because obviously, you know, some things that happen in Las Cruces or up in Gallup, It doesn't pertain to us, Mm -hmm. but anything that is relevant, I do try to put out on our weekly email um, and on our social media as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Utilize the chamber as a resource for all of that stuff. Um, And by the way, if you're, uh, you know, we talk about being, becoming a member of the chamber and we all think of the businesses and things and yes, all of them, but if you're a nonprofit organization too, they can have memberships here and that gets you perks and and uh, things, you Absolutely. know, you know, access to like we we're talking about the meeting spaces, things like that. Um, we we love to work with nonprofits as well too. So, oh yes. So we, if you're a nonprofit looking to, to help bolster your 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 activities and things, the chamber can help. You for, yeah. For example, we just uh, hosted the Kiwanis Christmas luncheon mm-hmm. uh, right before Thanksgiving. Yeah. So you know that's one of the things that we do. If you're a member of the chamber, now with that said. You don't have to be a member of the chamber to utilize some of our services and the things that we do, but we are going to have to charge either more or charge period for some of those things. Whereas if you're a member, you get low cost or no cost access to the things that we do. Yeah, we're non for profit, but we're also... We also got to pay the bills. So it, we gotta- I got to at least cover the cost <laughs> of the things that we're doing because yeah. um, the days of us just doing everything and yeah. not being able to pay for it are way behind us. Yeah. If I can't pay for something, we're not going to do it. Sure. Yep. It's uh, going that uh, it's starting to treat our budgets like those household ones that always seem to work <laughs> to do it right. But then the <laughs> politicians can't seem to figure it out. But right. Anyway. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very good. Uh, is there anything we missed? No, nope, we got everything, and Liz hasn't texted me to go, oh, my gosh, so right. we should be good. And uh, be on the lookout. Grinch is popping around out and about all over town, That's right. visiting businesses and making appearances. Uh, be on the lookout. Say hi, or don't say hi, but uh, be That's careful right. when he's Nowhere around. is safe. <laughs> the Grinch is out. Yeah, absolutely. Well, awesome. Well, thank you, ma'am. Have a thank great you. weekend. We'll you see you. And uh, like I said, I like your sweater. I don't care what Sean's. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and we'll see you around. I'm sure in town, especially this weekend, there's lots of wonderful yes. things. Get out there. Get on. Come on out. You know, come be a part of downtown Friday and uh, out at the convention center Saturday for the the yes. light drive through. That's gonna be so event. much fun. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you, Andrew. Thanks. We'll see you next time. It is 